This tutorial on cycles rendering is for new Blender users or for intermediate Blender users who are new to cycles rendering. So in general I don't spend a lot of time doing uh, this kind of rendering because I'm more interested in animation and real-time stuff like you can see in my integral calculus type videos. That kind of gives you a heads up as to what I'm, I'll be doing in the near future. But cycles does do a really great job at rendering. But I thought I'd give you a few pointers uh, given my background with photography and computer graphics that might help you out a little bit if you're new to computer graphics. So one thing is when you're rendering in cycles it's real advantages. It's like notice the reflections. Here's the green reflection off the body here. Very nice. This is the notice how it has the red in the surface down here and green in the surface like this and these really all come into play as far as it giving a really good quality rendering. But the setup isn't anything like uh, traditional rendering. So I'll give you an idea of what's in this scene. Notice if I was in, I'm in cycles render here and I'm just in wireframe mode uh, down like this. But you can preview this in real time if you could go up into rendered mode. Now, this option is not available if you're in regular Blender render, but we'll go into render mode. And you can see it renders on the fly like this. Quite impressive. With this speed, I'm on a GTX 470 card though. That's pretty fast. I'm sure some of you have faster cards than this. Um, but but it's nice, but if we go back into uh, wireframe mode, again, if you look, there's no real lights in the scene like you would see in Blender Render. There's a camera, but the, and this is just a background, and this is a background, but the lighting is, the way you set the lighting up is completely different. And you notice what I have over here. I have a really simple light setup in this particular one. These are my lights. I'm just kind of simulating two gigantic soft boxes. So if you've ever been into a photography studio or not, uh, you know, when you, the model sits down, they usually have these gigantic strobe flashes. You'll have a, there'll be a light, a uh, low intensity light, so when the model is being set up, but then when they flash the lights, it flashes really bright lights. Uh, some of them from two sides like this and they're big big soft white boxes and so the flash might be sitting here inside a box and it gets diffused across this big white surface of cloth material. There's all kinds of setups depending on what you're trying to shoot but this is a, this could be common so I just made these big kind of to simulate soft light boxes and then when you set it up you notice that if I look over here let's see if I can find this let me get rid of these guys real quick here notice that there's no light button like you would see if you were in blender render over here blender render you have the option of adding a light but in cycles well let me see well there is no light button because I don't have a light in the scene so I'm in cycles what it is it's an object in the scene and it's notice it's a material that I've set up and down here under the surface of the material I made the surface type emission. That's strictly it. And so your objects become your lights. And then as far as the objects themselves over here, let's see, well we might as well go back into uh, cycles render mode, I mean into texture mode, or rendered mode like this. And we'll look at it here, these objects themselves, they're just set to glass. So each individual one, that's set to glass, that's set to glass, that's set to glass. I didn't have to change any of the parameters. In fact, let's just change one. Let's change one to translucent. Let's change one to glossy. And then we'll see the difference in the rendering. So that's translucent, that's glass, that's glossy not a whole lot of difference between glass and glossy at least in this setup and then when it renders you it's really nice effect so the translucent is different so then it comes down to one other thing when you're actually making a final render you have to go over here up here in this button where you normally press render so when you go into here you come down here under your samples and normally this is a much lower number so I cranked up this, the render to 80 and then I cranked up the number of bounces as well so uh, these two make a huge difference, but I left the preview way down. So let's actually run a render with these two. Let's see what the translucent looks like in the scene. And this can take a while, so we won't run it too long. But now you'll see the number of samples. It takes a while, seven samples out of 80. So to make it, but you can see, you'll watch how the quality of the rendering really picks up in here. 
and this is just a diffuser and this is just a diffuser just so some light bounces off of those and you can just change the colors of those and you'll notice as like as the sampling it's up to 20 samples right now the quality just keeps getting better and better so it's really nice and glass i wish i could use this in the in real time inside the uh real calculus lessons i have oh that's going to be a lot of fun you'll be seeing these bottles in there and so we can calculate how many milliliters of perfume this bottle might hold in here 53 where well, we're getting close and the well the diffuse this is kind of that's translucent well i would have to change the one here a little bit to make this translucent look a little bit better but this isn't bad for the for just the glass rendering that kind of gives you an idea so if you t make sure you turn up the number of spools and the bounces and use the right kind of lights because if you just use a standard setup when you come into cycles those speckled dots and everything on it so I'm trying to help you avoid that since i have a general idea when i'm setting these things up well, okay, well, there you have it, and I hope that helps you out a little bit in your scenes, and uh, good luck with what you're doing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.